Hey guys, my name is Tivan Pavani, otherwise known as Dr. T in training, or as my friends call me, TIFFS or T, I'd say it easier for them. Uh, I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of Cape Town, and as you may have seen from my YouTube channel, I post weekly vlogs on the whole medical experience of a fourth year medical student. But I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video today as seeing mock exams are coming towards an end. I'd like to share with the matriculants of 2022 um, five important tips that helped me get a distinction in mathematics that might help them get a distinction in mathematics. So without further ado, control the intro and get the video started. Okay, uh, tip number one. I think this is probably the most important tip that I can give to triculants is to not skip classes. I know it's your matric year, you want to go out, you want to have fun. I was in your shoes, I also wanted to have fun, I wanted to take breaks, I didn't want to be in class. But I think the most important tip that I can give you is to not skip classes. They're going to cover information, they don't have time to go back and re uh, recover the work um, you're gonna have to do it yourself and that might lead you to uh, not understand the content and with that goes that if you're not in class you're unable to ask questions questions that might help you understand and also questions that might come up in the exam because when I was in trick I asked questions and of those questions that I was asked nine times out of ten it came up in the exam paper because the teachers are there they, they they're going to explain the important information to you they're going to give you tips and advice on how to do well in these exams so besides this youtube video please 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 attend classes they're going to give you tips on how to pass these exams okay tip number two um by now, I'm sure your exam schedule has been released. I want you to please print out your exam schedule and if you can't print it out, please handwrite it out. Just paste it somewhere on your wall, anywhere where you can see it every day so you know what your upcoming exams are. You don't want to rock up to school and hear that you have two exams on the one day, which is often the case in matric and you haven't prepared. So please, please, please print out your exam timetable and put it on the wall. Uh, with that comes creating a study schedule. In matric, I use the 3331 method, which means nine days and then the day before the exam. So on the ninth day before your exam, you're gonna wanna study mathematics, then the next day, a different subject, the next day, a different subject. Then on the sixth day, mathematics again, and the next day, a different subject, different subject. And then finally, when it becomes the day before your exam, I think this is quite important and probably what's going to determine if you get a distinction or not and that's going to be to go through past papers. Um, more often than not they're going to repeat questions from previous exams because they are quite lazy and they don't like creating new questions. Um, doing past papers gives you a good way to consolidate what you have learned in the past few days and really put into practice see if you understand this concept and there are memos out there so you can check your answers go over them over and over again repeat as many past papers as you can you can go on to uh, ecexams.co.za and it has all the exam papers there from i don't know what 2012 2012 to all the way to 2022 now 2021 so please 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 there are so many past papers Go through the most recent ones, see what type of questions they ask and how they ask it. They are going to repeat some questions. They always have the exact same format in which the questions are asked. So section A is always section A, section B is always section B. So look what the past paper looks like so you're not shocked when you open up that past paper, that paper and you see what's being asked. Okay. Point number three is going to be to create a study group. This just means gathering some of your friends or your classmates 
coming together and starting to study a certain topic or subject, so in this case mathematics. Going back to point number one where I said you have to ask questions, this allows you the platform to ask your fellow classmates uh, questions because they might understand a concept that you might not understand and they might be able to explain it to you better than the teacher might because we know that friends communicate on a different wavelength compared to you and the teacher you might feel pressured to go ask the teacher questions so this gives you an opportunity to ask your friends maybe they understand it please hey can you explain this to me and they might explain it better to you than the teacher it also gives you the opportunity to be around people we know that um, studying can be quite lonesome um, this allows you to interact with people allows you to get conversation going it allows you to practice together and I said as I said explain each other uh, explain to each other certain concepts that you might not understand if that's not for you we understand that some people study better alone that's perfectly fine that's really up to you um, you go and do that <laughs> Okay, point number four, it's going to be about mentally preparing yourself uh, before the day of the exam or before the exam. So the day before, I've told you guys the best thing to do is probably to practice fast papers. And once you guys have done that, it is important that you guys get some rest. You do not want to be going into an exam. Um, being tired, being foggy minded, it's just not going to help you, you're going to be falling asleep in that exam paper. So the best thing I can do is to recommend that you guys get enough sleep, at least six to seven hours of sleep before your exam and make sure that you are fresh in the morning. Also eat enough breakfast, take in fluids, take a bottle of water with, water with you into the exam or if they don't allow that anymore, just before exam, take a sip of water. Just calm yourself, it's going to be okay. What I like to do before the exam was just to take a few deep breaths and I wouldn't cram study. Um, I'd often leave my book at home because I felt that period before the exam was just to calm myself down and just say to myself that I'm going to be fine, I'm going to do this. Don't try to cram study, it's, it hasn't been beneficial. People have said they tried to cram study, it hasn't worked out, and then they just ended up forgetting all that information anyways. And it stresses you out unnecessarily because you're going there, your friends are saying, hey, did you learn this, did you learn that? And it just puts you under so much stress and now you're already going into an exam paper stressed and you don't even know what's coming up in the exam paper. It might be something else. It might be something totally unrelated to what they were saying, so please, Try your best to not cram study before the exam. Take it easy, just breathe. Okay, point number five. Um, I think this final point actually flows on quite nicely from point number four, which was to breathe, relax, and actually just to believe in yourself. All those hours that you've spent studying, practicing, asking questions, asking your friends for help, it's all going to pay off. You're going to go into that exam and you're going to smash it. But I also want you guys to remember that these marks, they do not define you, they don't make you who you are. You've obviously put in the efforts. You wouldn't be looking at this video if you didn't want to put in the efforts. You guys have worked to it, you've worked hard and all I can say is congratulations to you, you've put in the effort, I'm proud of you, we are all proud of you, your teachers are proud of you, your parents are proud of you, you guys have put in the effort and that's all that matters. you got to believe in yourself when you go into that exam, take a nice deep breath, you do it and you trust the process. Um, so there you guys have it, those are the five quite important tips that I think um, really benefit you. It, it definitely helped me to get my distinction in my matric year, and I really hope that it does help you guys. If you found the video helpful, please just give it a like. Um, let me know down in the comments if it did help you, or if there's anything that you guys like to add to the video that I could share to the other matrix or other students that need it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.
Bye.